Good day everyone, this is a Team 3 News Report. 2010 Belt Chinese 53171 DWT Bolt Carrier Zongchang Hixing issued distress signal in the afternoon, August 27, reporting liquefying ver cargo of nickel ore. The nickel ore being carried on the ship is thought to have caused the accident. The ore likely liquefied causing the cargo to shift and the vessel to lease and capsize. The ship was in East China, sea north of Sinkaku Islands, en route from Surigao, Philippines, to Lian Yungang in China, in Yellow Sea. The ship changed course and headed for Chinese coast. She approached mainland in the morning and then turned south in attempt to keep wind and sea at favorable angles. Liquefaction of an ore like this, of course with the moisture level in it, is higher than a certain level. The risk of liquefaction is especially great when the cargo like nickel ore is loaded during rainy season. Most cargoes that are likely to undergo liquefaction in the holds of bulk carriers are those that contain sufficient amounts of moisture and fine particles. These are just some of serious incidents that can cause damage to the vessel and that it should be reported with complete information that will be submitted to the International Maritime Organization. The whereabout of this news, the IMSPC code published by the IMO, is an internationally recognized code of safe practice to be followed when transporting hazardous solid bulk care cargoes on board bulk carriers. In 2011, the IMSBC code, formerly the Code of Safe Practice for Solid Bulk Cargoes, was made mandatory under the SOLAS Convention. Every shipping company should make sure that these implementations are being practiced by the crew members. Included in Appendix 2 of the IMSBC code are test methods to be followed when a cargo is classified as Group A or liquefiable. These test methods include the flow table, penetration, and Proctor Fagerberg tests, which are described in detail in related publications. The results from these tests provided the shipper with a safe moisture content at the which the cargo can be loaded without being at risk of liquefying. Lessons learned from the incidents of the past are important for analyzing further improvements to safety which are essential in the maritime industry. As what happened in the news, some factors are in need of consideration just like how liquefaction of a uh, solid bulk cargoes. Of course, can cause the vessel to less and occasional capsize. Incidents like this should be given attention and suggestions so that this kind of incidents can be prevented. News Team 3